दोस्तों पूर्वोत्तर भारत की विभिन्न जातियों के अपने अपने रोचक लोक कथाएं हैं ये लोक कथाएं उनकी मान्यताएं और परंपराओं के आधार हैं ये लोक कथाएं सदियों से इन जातियों के बीच कही सुनी गई है इन्हीं लोक कथाओं पर आधारित हमारी नई श्रृंखला शुरू हो रही है पहली लोक कथा बोडो जाति से है जिसे एटीन इलेवन में द कचारिस नामक पुस्तक में पब्लिश किया गया था इस पुस्तक के लेखक हैं रेवरेंड सिडनी एंडल ये पादरी थे जो बोडो जाति के बीच धर्मांतरण का काम भी कर रहे थे चलिए सुनते हैं पहली बोडो रोचक लोक कथा को हाउ द रिवर्स वेर मेड Once upon a time there lived a man and an old woman as they both grew old the old woman expressed her concern to her husband what will happen to our children after we are gone how will they manage to get food so the old man traveled a great distance to the god of riches kuvera there he obtained seedlings of paddy pulse mustard and goats he then journeyed for 8 days until he finally reached his home after staying a couple of days he set forth to cultivate the land taking dry food with him first he marked out a piece of fertile land by placing boundaries on all four sides afterwards he returned home to gather the necessary tools and dry food preparing to cultivate the land once again we set out with his hoe and axe and spent the day cutting and burning the jungle to clear the soil after worshiping on each side of his field including the east west north and south he continued with his work using his hoe the old man struck one blow on each side before planting his seedlings of various sorts once he finished he went home to rest as time went by the old woman's desire to witness the old man's planting techniques grew stronger however the old man cautioned her that there was no water on the road and if she grew thirsty she would not find any relief despite initial reluctance the woman persisted and convinced her husband to take her along to his field as they approached the field the woman became increasingly thirsty and had to stop for water the old man filled with anger exclaimed did i warn you there is no water to be found yet you still insisted on coming with tears in her eyes she pleaded please give me water to drink or i will surely die the old man seeing no other way to quench the old woman's thirst embarked on a long search for water finally he spotted a pond and to ensure her safety bound her eyes with a cloth and helped her to the water's edge and said you can drink from the pond but please do not look at it as the ducks and other water fowl played in the water making a merry noise with their clacks and quacks the old woman couldn't resist her curiosity and peeped at them watching them at their play she began to desire happiness in her husband's company though he was reluctant she eventually prevailed upon him to join her as the time passed the couple welcomed many sons and daughters into their family to provide for his growing family the husband journeyed to the himalayas and dug a great pond which he stocked with a variety of fish to ensure an ample food supply one day while hunting for deer hares and tortoises with his white dog shri the god of good luck came across the area As he reached the edge of the pond, he felt an intense thirst overwhelming him. However, as he bent down to drink, a group of fish eagerly told him that he could only have their water if he granted them a boon in return. He agreed to their request 
and after quenching his thirst, the fish asked him to lead them to the great river Brahmaputra or Lohi. To transport them, the god Sri bound the fish to his staff and then pulled them along, carving tunnels in the water as he went. According to legend, this is believed to be the origin of the rivers. After Sri created the rivers by binding fish to his staff, the fish rewarded him with a pumpkin and a gourd. Sri then visited a friend's house where he was treated to rice beer and pig's flesh. The following morning, Sri gave his friend the pumpkin which contained pure silver. His friend was so impressed that he asked Sri to stay another day and prepared fresh beer and a newly slaughtered pig. Before leaving, Sri was given a flitch of bacon to take with him. When the friend opened the gourd, he discovered it was filled with pure gold. Sri then continued his journey back home, where he learned that his daughter was gravely ill. The reason was, the god Sri had given away the gifts made by the fish to his friend. The fish, taking pity on him, appeared before him disguised as physicians and advised him to worship and offer sacrifices on the banks of rivers. Following their guidance, he did so, and his daughter was cured. This is the reason why Kacharis worshipped rivers, and that concludes the story.